So here we have an Archer Spore, which is a very unique monster card. It's a 5 strength bronze monster card and has the ability at every turn, at the start of your turn, move this unit to a random row on its side. Also, damage a random enemy by 1 and reset self. Death Wish damage a random enemy by 4. So we know Death Wish can be activated you know, before it actually dies in monsters, so you can actually damage a random enemy by 4 several times using its Death Wish. But it's a very unusual card because monster doesn't really have too much movement. In fact, they have no synergy with movement. But think of this as a monster version of the reinforced trebuchet. Okay, so that was a six strength unit and every turn damage a random enemy by one. This is a five strength damage a random enemy by one and reset itself and it starts jumping around to random rows. Now, what is the benefit of jumping to random rows? There doesn't seem to be one. Now, it can jump out of weather, but even if it stays in weather, it will reset itself. So that doesn't really make much of a difference. And it also does four damage when it dies. Now, it does have the benefit of if there's a resilient unit on the board, it could damage that unit. At the time of playing, it damages units before anything's gone into the graveyard. So resilient units are amongst all the other units that have been played. Therefore, they're unlikely to get hit by the four strength, uh, four damage that this does on Death Wish. Now, I'm hoping this will get changed, so this will do damage to guaranteed resilient units uh, when it dies at the end of a round, but uh, for now, you know, it's got the chance to hit resilient unit when it dies, or you can trigger Death Wish a little early in some other ways. There are some good combo pieces with uh, Death Wish cards now, um, but this is, a, I think, quite a strong version of the Reinforced Trebuchet, which is actually hard to kill. Now, 5 Strength is doable definitely doable it's difficult not much does five strength you know alzor's thunder and a couple of golds maybe a couple of silvers can do uh, five strength but you know if weather and any other little hits and it will just reset itself now if you can boost it by a base strength or you know strengthen it by a base strength then it actually become a lot more harder to kill i mean if you do one mushroom so it goes up to eight even an alzor's thunder won't kill it but that might be a bit overkill considering I don't know, it does a lot of damage over time if it's if it's jumping around the entire game. So, yeah, it's basically a monster version of a reinforced trebuchet with some extra added bonuses, which is really nice to see. But like I said, there's not really much uh, synergy with moving around the board. In fact, if you're playing Square Tell, uh, you can actually get damage from moving around uh, because they get a lot of benefits from, you know, doing extra damage to people when they move and start moving the enemy. So... You have to be careful of that but uh this will reset itself so who cares right thanks for watching guys take care see you again very soon